Hey everybody, one of Weezum here. It is Sunday, February 16th. It is not uh, 6 in the morning. It's actually 10 p.m. I uh, went to bed after we defeated Chaos. Credits ran a really, really long time. Didn't really have anything spectacular here. Pretty much every time you come back to Woodboro, Rufus greets you and says, uh, it basically changed your greeting. You're now a uh, champion of... Cloud Break Island, something along those lines. Uh, then he encourages you sometimes to talk to Avril, sometimes Wheel Lock. Uh, tonight, when I started up, he actually said, Hey, go talk to Eon. Uh, he's got some additional challenges for you. Um, so that's pretty much that. If you note, I have wind up here. Tower of Time came out first. It has Popthorn in it, of course. And then here recently, we got access to Sheepwreck Island, which has Windup. Um, I don't think I'm alone when I say that I think the characters should have been switched. Magic items I'm fine with. Uh, level names are fine. Obviously, I haven't been to either one. But when I think of the Tower of Time, and it's a clock tower, and there's a character named Windup from the tech elements... That just makes a lot of sense. Um, Sheepwreck Islands. Hadn't been there, but I think Popthorn would be better suited to that based on the simple fact he's puffy like a sheep. And again, more importantly, wind up in a clock. It just goes together like clockwork. Um, that said, at this point in time, we're at 30. I haven't gone back and picked up like the little things we missed. Early on in the playthrough, you know, when we didn't have sneak types or an Earth Skyline or Swapper, you know, stuff like that, we might have missed some things. We were sitting at 82% uh, when I started here tonight, so we'll keep that in mind, making sure nothing crazy is happening with the recording. Um, I honestly don't know, you know, in the SSA, obviously we didn't have Adventure Packs and Giants, and SSA, they were released out of order. Um, with this game, all I know, you know, I have the Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. When I flip the page from Cloud Break Core, which was, you know, technically Chapter 17, if you will, next thing that comes up is Sheepwreck Island. So I'm assuming that it would be, you know, Chapter 18. I could be wrong there. It may not matter. On the level select, I'll go ahead and show that to you. What they do here, you can see Chapter 1, and then there's two dots prior to that. They have Tower of Time, and they have Sheepwreck Islands. I don't know if they're wanting me to progress, you know, right to left, meaning you'd go from Chapter 1 to Tower of Time, and then down to Sheepwreck, or if they're implying that Sheepwreck Island would come first, then the Tower of Time. Um, either way, I've decided, mainly since the strategy guide's there, I'm going to go ahead and do Sheepwreck Islands, um... Daryl and Camo both 100% on this, obviously. At this point in time, we've got the stuff we need. Um, it's not a big deal to me to use the magic items. I guess I could. Sheepwreck Island had pretty cool ones. Uh, the Groove Machine and the Platinum Sheep kind of hides you and restores health. But um, I think what I'll do is just kind of play it. I'm not actually going to enter that way. I'm right here for a reason. I also wanted to mention, I kept thinking that right here we'd get like a wing sapphire, a treasure chest every time, a box. There hasn't been like that gratuitous cash gift in this game just yet. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do here, let's just talk to this wham shell guy. Again, they don't give the chapters here, so I don't know, but um, we're going to go ahead and go to Sheepwreck Island and see what kind of mess we get ourselves into. look like monsters? Ah, uh, this can't be good. Greetings, my loyal sheep. It is I, the one and only sheep maid. For too long, we sheep have been knocked around by the citizens of Skylands. Bah. Yeah, we're always getting picked on. Bah. Bah. But no longer. Bah, no more. Oops. I mean, uh, bah. What's this? 
There appears to be an imposter among us. Oh, uh, <laughs> great pep rally, team, but uh, I think I'll be going now. Not so fast! You've seen too much, and now you can never leave! Take this! Wowzers! This is embarrassing. Now go, my sheep! Go and spread our sheepdom throughout all of Skylands! Let the invasion begin! Okay, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Flynn was turned into a sheep. If you recall, at the end of the Giants, him and the sheep mage had a lengthy discussion, often involving enchiladas. Uh, nonetheless, it was pretty humorous. Um, I have high hopes here. The Adventure Packs and SSA, I really, really like those. Um, in particular, I mean, each one kind of had something special to it, so I hope that's the case here. Um, pretty interesting landscapes. It is Sheepwreck Islands, and uh, it looks like there's a lot of ships here as well. But, um, I'm sure what those little sunburst guys are. Okay, they do damage. Skylander! Oh, thank goodness. You gotta break that sheep creep's magic staff, and also, don't ever tell anyone about what happened here. Okay. Oh, that reminds me of the shit that we here. So, oh, really, I guess you can't, like, kill those things. Good grief. I thought we could walk through that grass. <laughs> um, okay, we got a vortex over there, sheep statues everywhere. It's pretty well one and done there. That still spit out cash. So, but, um, why can't we not get that? That's very annoying. Um, not near the edge, and I cannot get the golden steering wheel. So that's best. Um, anyway, uh, check out that sheep pirate flag. That's kind of cool. Oversized snail shells, all kinds of interesting stuff. In the back. Um, little vortex there. Um, I'm assuming that would teleport us. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go over here. Oh, I thought that was implying that was like a chest of something. Um, I guess before we, once I clear this area, before we take that little vortex deal, I'll go ahead and uh, check our chapter objectives, which I guess we should probably do right now. Alright, so we're going to go, it's getting windy here, uh, two objectives. Destroy the Sheep Mage's staff, that should be pretty cool. We get to battle him again, I'm assuming. Uh, three golden sheep, that'll be our dare, we'll want to find those. Uh, 50, that's enemy goals pretty much the same as always. Kind of interesting it's not listed second there. Um, 16 areas, 3 treasure chests, 3 legendary treasures, 3 hats. That's kind of upped from the usual. Uh, 1 bonus mission map, 2 wing sapphires also increased there. 1 story scroll, you see that blue space at the bottom, you think, what's the deal? Seems like this used to be a full list. Soul Gym. Uh, there's no Soul Gym here. Although it would have made perfect sense for the applicable character Soul Gym to be hidden in these levels, in my opinion. Uh, that's just me. But, uh, that at least would have like tied things in a little bit better, maybe. Um, I guess we're ready to see what happens here. Okay, so you just literally walk into it. There's no real effort on our part required. There's a ledge we can drop off. Oh, okay. Ooh, spare parts! Okay, there they come. Is Buddy not gonna... Is his buddy's hung up on the fence? Looks like he was impaled by the fence post. Like. Well, I guess we'll have to go around and kill him. <laughs> uh... It's a shame that anchor. Oh, 
Uh, what I plan to do is just use wind up as much as possible. I guess if there's like eligible areas or something, I'll switch. Otherwise, uh, he would be my hot ticket here. He did the same thing in SSA. Sunburn, Slam Bam, Ghost Roaster, Terrafin. Use those guys as much as possible. Um, I believe that Terrafin is probably the least usable. Alright, so obviously we need to go that way. We don't want to do that just yet because our stuff is here. Or I'm assuming I don't know. Treasure chest one of three. Kind of cool there's a bunch of the anchors. Sadly, that's like a treasure chest that was worth pretty much nothing. In all honesty. Um, I guess we'll come up this way. I believe that'll, I guess, take us to that direction. I mean, yeah, okay, I'll kill these guys, and I want to see... Does he throw a jellyfish? Yeah, he's got like a trike. Um, okay, so you can come back down in the event that you got up there and saw that treasure chest we picked up to the bottom of the screen. You're home free, no uh, Kind of a cool mechanism there with the little teleport there. It actually makes sense to me. Skylanders of the undead element are stronger in this zone. Okay, and again, the blind playthrough continues. I'm going to try to uh, hold myself to just using new characters. Uh, that being, of course, new landers and swappers. Uh, since all swappers are obviously new characters. But uh, really like Roller Brawl. I think she should upgrade very well for us. Um, there's a story scroll over there. I guess that would take us. Wait, maybe I, should, I don't know if I should move that first. Apparently, yeah, I guess you can't move it again. So <laughs> I was making sure there wasn't like a trap door. Or something. Oh, okay, makes perfect sense now. <laughs> you know, at the time I was thinking, okay, they probably hid something somewhere. We don't want to get stuck somewhere. We can't get to it. But story scroll should be interesting here. Platinum sheep, this should be interesting. The platinum sheep is a monument to the legendary sheep Ba'la the Fluffy. Sheep from all over will gather when this monument appears in the hopes that it will turn their wool into cotton candy. Okay. Not quite what roll I expect, with it. But uh, we'll <laughs> do what she said, we'll roll with that. Um, let me see here. We're at uh, 13 minutes. The Skylander, eh? Prepare to meet your sheepy doom! Oh, wow. Okay, so he just ate three keys. Spit him out. Right here, what's up with that logic? Okay, I. Roller Brawl actually would be really good here. Very good Let's see if you can get all three. Ha! <laughs> she owned that. That was so pathetically easy. Uh, oh, now he's blowing it. So. I guess. You know, I don't really see him. Roll on! There, so. See something up there, rocket zone, that's great. Got some trouble with those. Uh, <laughs> interesting light enough. This will take the images. Oh wow. Level up! Ultimate jammer! Roller brawl. I mean keep in mind, everyone boxed off, she's just beastly. That would kill him. Hilarious. Oh, he takes himself out. Alright. Funny thing, this doesn't look like a great island for sheep. It appears to be like more, you know, tutorial. There's no grass. You know, you think you'd be like in a northern latitude or mountain region. Um, but that's just an observation. 
Uh, I guess we will pull the old bro and go with the uh, jet here. Seems like good territory for it. Maybe there he comes. Bombs away! All right, let's head in here. Hope nothing too bad happens to us. Jeez, that's a pretty. If you let your eyes wander ahead, it's pretty intimidating looking. Uh, you should probably focus on one. Good job. I don't do that. I like look way ahead. Gee, how am I gonna, you know, not die? Pay attention, and then you die. You think, gee, I've gotta go back and not die, and then you start looking ahead again, wondering where it was that you died last time. Great you job. Get the I'm just kind of trying to do this. Especially like right here, I like these little clips you can see segments of. I was totally. I've rocketed this whole time too, by the way, which I think we're actually going to make it. Uh, there for a second, I thought I was going to go to the left of the gate, and we'd come back and like miss it by a second. That actually worked pretty well. This one was called Sheep Strafing. So. Uh, the full swap. Not quite sure what that is. Got two of those. And more importantly, whatever this is. Wing Sapphire, that'll work out well for our upgrade, save us a little bit of cash. And there's two of them. Success is awesome. mine! So between Again. The, I think there's two in Tower of Time as well, so I mean, four Wing Sapphires between two levels. Pretty impressive. I guess we should switch now. And go back to Prince Road for all here. Always keeping my eyes out for, you know, drop-offs, cliffs, potentially hidden items, things of that nature. So I hope there wasn't anything down in that one area. Um, I just was kind of concerned about getting the keys. And whatnot, so. That should take us, I guess, over here. Good grief, it's one of the other See what that means. Okay. Again, kind of makes more sense when I actually move the block. I'm just always hesitant to do that. This kind of. I mean, it's not an exact match. Looks like there's a lot of stuff down there. Uh, it looks an awful lot like Dragon's Peak to me. What is that? Okay, is that one of the golden sheep? Yeah, okay, so that's what they look like. Hidden fairly well, um, at least in my opinion. So, we'll see how the others fare. Obviously, from this angle, it doesn't look like that. You gotta remember, you don't really see that very well from up top. So. But again, uh, if I had to pick a level that this reminds me of, it would literally be Dragon's Peak. You kinda have all the separate islands, kinda ruined castle type vibe going on. Not a big deal, those coins, I guess. <laughs> give up, Skylander! Yeah, give up! Thanks to my all-powerful sheep staff, I am unstoppable! <laughs> and as he did anything there, I was actually looking down. Okay. That's a cool look. Get ready to roll! <laughs> she just one hit KO'd that loser. I mean, that guy is pathetic. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, lucky I didn't skate into that. Uh, that sadly took care of all the enemies. She'll get some power from that dipet. Um, like I said, I mean, and she, you gotta realize, she has nothing in terms of what you see as delivered, you could literally walk to the store, 
come home with a roller brawl, put her on her portal, and she would be playing like you see her here. It's just really impressive in my opinion. Um, it's like we got a room up there. Well, we don't have to dance or do some rhythm stuff. I'm a big fan of that. That would be a good hiding spot, but I guess you can't go down there. But I'd like to see a treasure chest or something. Um, nothing over there. It's not letting me drop off, so I guess we will head up here. And I'm not gonna get any door. Oh, okay. So that was totally good. Undead area that worked out well for us. Huh. I thought someone would have talked to us. Usually you're like greeted by someone. Usually a Gilman in this game. Um, okay, well, uh, I guess we'll just do it ourselves with that direction. Then. This is pretty cool. Uh, kind of like a Mario platforming style. We've got the old style, like, flame bar, if you will. So, uh, it has that really cool ethereal look to it. So. It does move pretty quick. Might be an issue for some of the slower characters, but uh, for Roller Brawl, again, totally box stock. She just. no issues at all. So. Uh, this one, you've got little rogue. Whoops, didn't think we hit that. Or that, or that, or that. Um, there didn't seem to be a force here between them. She's. Plenty quick. She's a 50 character on speed, so I mean that's uh, more than adequate for most things you're gonna run into. And that's you know discounting the fact that she's got you know the really good speed moves when you press primary. So. Biggest issue here, I can't see behind myself in some cases. But uh, we'll just continue on here. Some there's something had or bonus mission or something along. The way. Guess we can't. Um, oh, yeah. Time for a damn session. <laughs> what a I mean, she just obliterates these idiots. I realize she's in an elemental zone and everything, but uh, still, it's, it's pretty hilarious. It's just like one hit and they're done type situation. Alright. This does look pretty cool, in my opinion. The undead uh, vibe fits very well with you know, shipwrecks and everything like that. So, uh, this looks more like Dark Light Crypt crossed over with uh, Pirate Sleep or something, minus the card games. Those look like roasted mushrooms. It's a pretty expansive little area. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> Not much of anything, really. Let's jam. This would be a good ghost roaster or hex territory as well. That's some <laughs> like I said, I mean, you tap down, and I mean, you get the idea how quick she is when you, you know, use her speed and power. So. And again, box stuff. Nothing done. Oh, there's our present, so whatever it is, we'll go ahead and grab it. Uh, it is a hat. Looks like a stump smash hat. Tree branch, plus 7 critical hit, plus 30 max health. That's actually giving the critical hit increase. Uh, I'm not really concerned about the health, but uh, that's pretty significant numbers there for a hat, so uh, not too shabby, I suppose. And she would look ridiculous in that, so we're not gonna. That cat would actually look good on some of the lifers, but uh, not on the. Uh, plus, once we get her soul gem, you know, we'll uh, we change things. Ah, that's what these things are. Nice. Guess you don't want to land in the vortex. Oh, maybe you actually do. I guess you do. The vortex would spit you out. Oh yeah, 
have to fully coordinate the team. Okay, so they must all have to hit blue. I guess I don't know. This is ridiculous. Yeah, so that stays blue. So it's just color coding was all it was. I thought we could okay, I guess you can. I was thinking you could break what those sheep are standing on. Uh, apparently the sheep like to dance like the dirt sharks or something. But uh, we're gonna get the heck out of it. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of those uh, apparently that's a point of no return. Uh, looks like Chill's narwhal though. That's just like a really random thing to see. I assume we can't get over there. <laughs> Pretty strange if I don't say so myself. <laughs> but, uh, nonetheless, I guess we'll just continue on here. I assume that's just a little mine. Okay. Finally go off or something. It's just doesn't seem to be any vortex gear golem. I could get to it. Ouch! Ha! Yeah. 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 Any spawns in this is nice. See how you use it. Level up! Ah, uh, he can take some hits apparently. Pretty. I wish there were more enemies like him in the game. Like, mm. things more challenging, you know. What's that wham shit? Mm. No clue what that is, I didn't really explain that. So, <laughs> I assume it's a medallion that'll go in that door, is all I can figure. Um, I see nowhere to drop off or access hidden areas, so. You do be on the right track, Skylander, but Always there'll be no like time shit. to waste, or like there'll be sheep all over, over the place. Significantly only got smaller. Okay. <laughs> and can't seem to go anywhere. Okay, so I guess we have to make it to that door. They did show us a giant treasure chest. This is the Temple of Wool. That's kind of cool. Let me check my time. Oh, 28 minutes. Uh, there's a treasure chest there, too. This is probably a good place to stop, so I will do that. Or 26%. Um, pretty fun so far. Uh, really likes that Vortex Gear Golem. He was a pretty awesome enemy. But uh, that said, we'll end it here. This was part one of our Sheepwreck Island blind venture through. Uh, we'll come back and continue on here from this point. Uh, be sure to check out the blog, oneofweezum.com. ton of Skylanders information. Apparently somewhere we dropped frames. Uh, that's fabulous. Didn't do any of that last night. Um, so this probably won't sync up. I'll see what I can do. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.